This is the Solway Firth. It's the start of Hadrian's Cycleway. We've got a great adventure ahead of us, following one of Britain's most extraordinary monuments, all the way to Newcastle. Originally some 70 miles in length and six metres high, Hadrian's Wall is the greatest Roman monument in Britain. It stretches from the Solway Firth to the mouth of the River Tyne, across the wild and often eerily beautiful landscapes of this border country. So we're on Hadrian's Wall, one of the great civil engineering projects of the Romans. It's remarkable to think that it's endured 2,000 years. And it's mellowed over that time into the landscape. But places like this are still really dramatic. Riding Hadrian's Cycleway on arrow straight military roads, cycle paths and tranquil lanes is to plunge back through history. The fragmented remains of the wall, as well as the medieval fortified churches, the castles, Pele towers and reinforced farmhouses are all testament to the centuries of feuding. The natives are, however, very friendly. Brampton, Holtwhistle, Corbridge and Ovingham are all characterful quiet market towns with excellent pubs, cafes, bakeries and the sort of warm welcome that you come to expect up here. The final section of the route follows the River Tyne, one of the great environmental success stories of recent years, and takes you into the cultural heart of the north, Newcastle. This is the mouth of the River Tyne. We've got Newcastle behind us, and this is the end of the Hadrian Cycleway. It's been a fantastic ride.